This is Doug Coy. I'm here with Jamie McIntosh of the Ohio Aviators. Jamie, uh, you've been uh, an outstanding rugby player from New Zealand. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience in rugby? Yeah, mate, I was pretty lucky. Uh, obviously, New Zealand um, rugby is uh, just a, a way of life over there, and you get caught up, caught up playing it since you're five. So, uh, yeah, when I was about 16, I was lucky enough to make the New Zealand secondary schools team, and and, and from there, really, my pathway into professional rugby was um, uh, it was a, you know a bit of a stepping stone, really. So, I went to New Zealand schools for three years, and then kept in the schools, the 19s and the 21s, and yeah, pretty much my first year out of school, I was lucky enough to be involved in the Hollanders and. Uh, training with them and, and played ITM Cup first year out of school, which not many people do. So, you know, over my last um, you know, 11 years in New Zealand, I've been lucky enough to play 128 games for Southland. I played 94 Super Games, and um, you know, I really had a great time being able to play rugby for my job. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of hard work. Um, you know, uh, super rugby is pretty tough on the body. We have long pre seasons and, and long seasons and physically hard games, and then get two weeks off and go home and play ITM Cup and we have one month off a year in November so uh, and mate, it's a very it's a tough physical job but mate it's uh, it's a pretty unreal job and you get a yeah you get to work with uh, athletes and and guys and coaches and a group of guys that are really motivated and, and all focused on the same thing. And then you were uh, fortunate enough to be selected for the All Blacks? Yeah 2008 um, I come off a pretty big year for Southland and also, it was my first year starting for the Hollanders, and I picked up a, a, a you know, a pretty, uh, a pretty bad foot injury and missed out on the All Blacks um, earlier on in the year. And then I, I was lucky enough to get picked away and go on the way into your tour. Um, yeah, I didn't have a long uh, career in the All Black jersey, and um, but the short time that I was there was a, you know, an amazing experience. Um, yeah, I was only 22, 23. I was still learning the game, really. So, um, you know, for me to push on after that, the highlights after that, my career with Captain in the Hollanders, uh, 2010, 11, 12, uh, or 2011 or 12. Um, and obviously, I've been really lucky. I've kept in Southland for 98 games, um, close to 100 games down there, and I've won the Ranfurly Shirt a few times with them. So, uh, yeah, it's been um, it's been a really good career, and for me to be able to come over to Ohio and, and the Aviators and I was in France playing in the south of France for Montpellier and, and the opportunity to come to come here and for me to be able to play rugby here and, and hopefully teach some of the boys a little bit about being professional rugby players has been um, a really great experience for me. Uh, in, in terms of being a professional rugby player, uh, uh, what what are some of the things that it takes? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a big job. Um, it's a big job physically and it's a big job mentally because your physical side of things is, is your nutrition, which is huge. Um, from when I started playing rugby to now, how important the nutrition side of things is, has got absolutely massive. Uh, every super rugby team is full-time nutritionist, and uh, you know we do all this training. And if we don't put the right stuff in your body, you might as well not do that. So it's been a big learning for everyone, me included. Um, nutrition, you've got your rehab, your physio, and, and your weights, your strength, and your conditioning. And yeah, you know, rugby is such a multi dimensional sport, you've got so many boxes to get right, you, you know, not only do you have to be strong and fit, as I said, focused on your body, but you've also got to be skillful and be able to play the game, so um, your weeks can get pretty busy and tied up into doing a lot of things, I mean, particularly as a forward, uh, you know, we've got a lot of stuff to do in our week, we've got scrums and lineouts, uh, which are a completely different bit of the game, which take a lot of time to get right, and then we've got to fit into the phase play and be skillful enough, we've got defensive patterns, and you know, it's very easy for your week to get very filled up, and, you know, you've got to be able to have the ability to uh, to do a lot of things at once and do them well. So um, these guys um, over here, we're still learning that intensity and, and that drive, but we've uh, made some significant improvements. Do you see yourself as a mentor for some of the players? Oh, mate, I'm, I'm not a mentor, a leader maybe. Like I, okay, leader. I like to push, you know, we like to drive standards here. and. You know, I mean, a lot of these guys have gone from club rugby into professional rugby. So, I mean, we've been in a professional environment for 12 years. We put a lot of the, it's very player driven, and we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be better. So, um, to get these guys and mould them into, you're not having people to tell you that you have to do this or tell you to what your intensity is, tell you what your skill level needs to be, tell you to warm up, tell you to do this. Uh, that's all part of being a professional rugby player. You turn up with the right gear at the right time, with the right attitude, and, and you get your work done, and, and then your time on your feet and then when you're not playing rugby you've got to rest and eat well so um, I mean that's a lucky job I mean uh, but yeah there's certainly a lot goes into it.
Uh, what memories will you take from this experience in playing in pro rugby? I think the biggest, uh, coolest thing I've, I've done or felt so far is just how far we've come in the com like as a team. From my first game against Denver to like a day like today where our line out and our scrum and our face play and our skill sets are just, it's, it's improved significantly and I can't even explain you know, how good we've, or how far we've come. And for me, I'm really proud to be part of something like that. And, to be able to help the boys get to that standard where they want to be. Um, and also, I mean, it's the first ever professional competition in, in America and it would be uh, fantastic to win it, but yeah, we compromised ourselves at the start of the season by losing some games with some silly mistakes and now we're hitting our straps. So we've just got to keep winning and, and hope that it works out. I'm going to ask you more of a cultural question. I teach uh, anthropology and geography at a community college. Uh, the uh, hockey is a uh, challenge that's performed uh, in front of uh, major matches in New Zealand. Uh, I think it's different uh, if you're part of the indigenous Maori culture versus not. Uh, could you describe how the hakas learn if you're not Maori in well, New Zealand? In New Zealand, uh, high school rugby is a, a massive um, it's a massive culture and it's a massive um, part of you growing up. It's probably probably some of the most special days of your life playing first 15 rugby and that's where uh, through high schools, um, boys only high schools mostly, actually no, well, co, co ed schools have it too but we learn the haka when we go to school, to a high school. Each high school has their own individual haka with their own meaning. It doesn't matter whether you're Pakeha, Māori, Samoan, Tongan, everyone learns the same haka and, and, and it means it means the same to each person. Obviously um, the deeper understanding of the Māori cultures comes from the Māori boys and you know, I was lucky enough to yeah, you know, I did the Huckers with my first 15 and was very passionate about that. Then, yeah, you know, I went and, and did the New Zealand Hucker for the for the um, for the you know the schools 19s, 21s, and then obviously the All Black Hucker. And then we had a very special Hucker at the Chiefs. Uh, and it's a it's more so it's a, something that's special to your team. Um, it's got special meaning to the region you're from. Um, generally, the Hucker talks about your region in New Zealand and why it's special and. A lot of it's about uh, um, coming together before the game and, and singing and beating and, and you know we talk about our hearts beating and our feet beating at the same time so it's a bit of uh, it relates a bit to sport as well and also it gets you pretty fizzed up so um, yeah, it works on many different levels and as I said I don't think it's, it doesn't really matter too much whether you're Māori or Pākehā it means a lot to people back in New Zealand. Okay. I appreciate you taking time to share, good luck with the rest of the season and the remainder of your rugby career. Sweet. Thank you.